The next group of plants that we're going to have a look at in the moss house are the liverworts and these are also bryophytes and they're very similar to these first plants to have colonised land. It's these ones you can see here with the very flat structures. The bryophytes have a really interesting reproductive life cycle which is very different from other plants and flowering plants and this involves two alternating generations. These are known as the gametophyte generation and the sporophyte generation. The gametophyte is the dominant form and the main form, that's the one that we can see here. Um, the green part which is photosynthesizing and producing energy. And these will release gametes they're called, which are sperms and eggs. These will fuse together uh, and the sperm will fertilize the egg and this will then grow into the sporophyte. This is a structure that grows up out of the gametophyte. It can't produce its own energy and relies on the energy from the gametophyte. This will then release the spores to be carried off by the wind, which will grow into gametophytes. On those liverworts in the moss house, you couldn't really see any obvious sporophytes. But I've had a look around the gardens and I've managed to find some moss some clear sporophytes to point them out. Growing out of this are these sporophytes, the red ones that are a bit higher up growing out the top. 